Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good afternoon everyone Hello, nice to meet you My name is Mulan Kadiyaji And today I will be your English teacher So, for today Who is absent for today's class? Hmm, I would like to ask the chairman Putri, right? So, Putri, who is absent for today? No one? Thank you Great, so everyone attending this class So, for our topic today's learning is about days, day, and month. Okay, we have three topics that will be discussed in this class, for today's class. So, before we talk about this topic, I would like to inform you two learning objectives that need to be learned, sorry, that need to be received after the end of our class. So there are two learning objectives. The first one is students are able to identify days, date, and months correctly and exactly. And the second one is students are able to write days, days, and months in English with correct way. Okay, without wasting time, let's talk about days as the first topic that will be learned. As you can see on the screen, there are seven days in total for one week. So, the first one is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, I would like to ask your help for helping me mention one by one, one, by one after I said earlier. So, I will write down in the whiteboard. Okay, the first day is Sunday. Okay, next, Sunday. Thank you. Next, Tuesday. Wednesday. Okay, Putri, the next one is what day? Thursday. Right, thank you. Okay. Next one is you that. What about you? What is the next day after Thursday? Friday, right? Next one. Kupu, mm. what about you? After Friday. Okay, Saturday. Good job. And the last one is Sunday. We agree that this is the last day in one week. Okay, this is about days. Anyone want to ask about days before we jump to our next topic, which is about day? Anyone to ask something? Okay, thank you. So, the next topic that we will learn is about day. So, there are 21 ordinal numbers which are represented as a date in here. So we call it in ordinal number, not in cardinal number. So I want you to repeat after me, after I say, like first. And you need to say it again. So let's start. First. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, 
Okay, give a plus for us we know how to pronounce date exactly and correctly. So earlier we talked about date like first, second, third, fourth, and so on. So, anyone want to ask, which still not understand what is that, how to pronounce it, or is there any further information that you need, you can ask me. Anybody want to ask before I jump to the last material is about months. Okay, April. So you want to ask about how to say angka empat in Indonesia or in English four correctly? So the answer, the right answer is fourth. There uh, at the end of the word that is sound t, so we call it like fourth. Okay, thank you. Is there any question? No. Okay, next. We will talk about months. As you can see on the screen, there are many months in one year consists from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So, what is total months in one year? Anyone to help me? Okay, Sarah. Twelve, nice, great. Give a plus. You are right, so there are twelve months in one year. January, February, and so on. As you can see on the skin, and I have saved earlier. Okay, anyone to ask about month, the last topic for today class? No? So you are now understand these three topics are you sure hmm okay i hope you are honest be honest about yourselves and the next thing that i want you to do is about reflection Oh, before that, I'd like to uh, want to want you to analyze on this video, which about students who is confused how to write the invitation cards in a correct way. So let's watch the video together. Start. Sorry. And in total. Let's help Lennon to decide which one of his birthday invitation card that is suitable for him. Let's take a look on his first birthday invitation card. Everything is fine and open, but... Okay, 
let's take a look on the first invitation card. So, Pana has written two invita invitation cards, but he is confused which one is the correct one. So, I want your, I want your help to decide which one the invitation, invitation card which is suitable for him, either the first one is the second one. Okay, the first one, I would like to ask hmm, someone. Okay, yeah, yeah. What about you? Do you think that the first invitation card is right or wrong? Wrong? Okay. Let's take a look at the answer. We can see on time. There is no day and month. There is only day. And it is wrong. Yes. You are right there, yeah? This is the wrong one. So there is no month and day. There is only days. We just need to be complete. Okay, next, let's take a look on the second birthday invitation card which written by Lana. So, anyone want to help me? Okay, Amy, do you think that this invitation card is right or wrong based on what you have learned up there? Right, it is the correct one. Okay, let's take a look for the answer. Overall, it looks fine. Alright, like the first one, but take a look at time. It is complete and perfect. You can see there are day, day, and month. So, yes, you are right. This is the petition card, which is correct. There is days, day, and month. It's complete now. The, the first one, better than the first one only have days in its invitation card. Okay, I want to give a plus for you that you now understand about my material. So, I feel happy and thanks for pay attention to what I have said until now. The next thing that I need you to do is about reflection. So after uh, we learn about these two topics until now, so I want you to reflect to yourself, which is about three points. The first one is thing that you do not know. Next thing is about what you have learned from the start until now. And the next, the last thing that I need you, to, I need to know from you, is about the material or something that you want to learn in the future. So you can write on your paper, and later, after the end of our class, I will collect it one by one. Warning. So, one point that I want to emphasize is about you have to be honest for yourself, it is for your good. So you, you don't have to be lie about this because this is for your improvement in the future. Okay, for our activity, I need you to use your smartphone to visit this link. You can visit this link that I have write down in this whiteboard www.kahoot.it So after you visit this link, there will be a exercise, literal exercise about what we have learned so far including days, date, and months. Okay, thank you everyone for attending this class and thank you for your good contribution from the first until the last time now.
sorry for any mistake that I have created, which is unintentional or in intentional way. So, see you next week. Hope you have a great day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.